Hey, Thrand here, and today we're going to be doing a very special test, a long-awaited test that I wanted to do. Uh, we're going to basically play David and Goliath. We're going to be throwing lead glandies, though, not stones. Uh, the lead glandies have performed very well, just like the Roman stories of old tell us. Uh, they can embed in human flesh. I tested them on 20% ballistics gelatin, a big, huge, thick uh, uh, block of it and uh, they went clean through and into the multiple layers of cardboard behind. Uh, we've done that test with them. Uh, we've also embedded one slightly sideways into the same gel, not quite as deep, and even into the cardboard itself uh, where it was halfway and I had to use pliers to pull it out. Uh, we tested it also on some gel that had uh, uh, actual blood bag in it to see if it was possible a rupture of let's say an intestine or something and have it stuck in there and that the stories of the tools to pull it out were feasible. I have no doubt with lead traveling at uh, over 200 miles an hour uh, that it could crack a skull or uh, lay a man out just like David and Goliath. I was inspired to do this by the lead glandies test out of Total War Rome 2 throwing war trailer. Uh, it was uh, produced by Mike Loads, and they actually threw the lead glandies through some type of foam head. I want to try this on an actual analog ballistics gel head. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and test that out. I have an analog ballistics gel head, but to let you know guys, I only had one glandies. Only one for this test and no time to pour anymore. So uh, we got pretty good results, but uh, we never got the exact hit we wanted, but I think you'll, you'll still be impressed nevertheless. Let's get started and you'll actually get to see that testing. Well, your pal took some damage. Took a chunk out of the pal. skull head on. Uh, we got a cut, but we didn't actually get a hole through the skull. There might be some cracking in there, but it's hard to tell. Bye-bye, Glandy. Our Glandy's hit and ricocheted up, but it did shatter the skull. bit high. If I would have hit right on it, it would have been much more impressive. And bye-bye glandies. Yeah, I don't know if that's on the roof. Not sure. I'll climb up and check in a second. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the episode, and uh, sorry we didn't have an extra glandies, so there was no further testing that could be done on the head in that manner, but it still cracked the skull. The only reason blood didn't run down is because it was so high up on the skull. I would have I hit him right in the forehead like old King David did when he was a young shepherd boy, but didn't take place. But uh, we will try this again later when I have time to pour glandies. I hope you enjoyed the video, and farvel.